Welcome back to Jason Reviews. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new here, please subscribe and like for future videos. Today, I wanted to do a comparison video with a real versus fake of the Mistyor Rose Essence Perfume. As I started doing research, this fragrance doesn't have a lot of information online to inform buyers of the tattletale signs when purchasing used or secondhand fragrances, even when still in the box. Today I hope to point out some features that can help prevent you from buying a fake Misty or Rose Essence perfume. Starting off with the boxes, they look relatively similar at first glance, however, having them side by side there is one giveaway sign, the color. The fake one looks pink but is sort of orange undertone or paleness. I expect that most paid perfume sellers won't have both of these side by side but try to look at the color. Even when alone, this looks like an orangish pink. It's not exactly a subtle pink hue, similar to the Misty Or portrayals. The original packing color will feature hues a little more pure. What I mean by that is, under different light, it still has more pinkish undertones. Again, they look very similar, but the fake one is slightly more pale. I will also point out that the CD logo on the fake one is not as reflective as it can be seen, even through the shine on the plastic. The lettering of both the Dior's are different sizes. The fake one has a wider pen stripe and it appears darker, but on the giveaway is the spacing between the rose and essence. On the fake one, this almost appears as a single word. It's like that throughout the box. The original has a small space, but it's clear these are separate words. If you do have the chance to hold one of these, fill the plastic. The fake one has a thick plastic sill and the seam on the side of the bottle is large. Usually Dior plastic is thin and the side seam is about a few millimeters. I know this may be hard to differ in the moment. My tip is if you have the chance to hold the sealed fake fragrance, fill the plastic thickness. But most of the time, these are not touchable till after purchase. In that instance, examine the folding of either the top or bottom of the fragrance. This is a dead giveaway. Again, Dior usually uses a circular seal, which allows for the CD sticker to be placed over it. And oftentimes, fakes have a seal that is melted vertically. Again, if the product is sealed but there is no plastic, CD logo sticker, then it's likely not the real fragrance. Outside of the plastic, both of these boxes look identical, even down to the engravings. The biggest standout, however, is the white paper seal. The lettering is relatively the same size on the fake one, while on the real one, the print has a fine point or thin lettering. On the seal itself, both are identical, however, the texture on the fake one has little to no texture, whereas the real one has more detail. Again, if it's in a plastic seal, it's hard to differentiate, but look to see if the seal has been broken. The fake one here has already been opened, and that's to say that it was already in the plastic seal. The other thing I wanted to point out was that on the real fragrance, the top left edge has a folded corner where the fake one does not have anything. Make sure to look for discrepancies like this as well. The detailing on the real perfume box is rather intricate, and not that flat when compared to the fake one. Surprisingly, the texture is very similar. The real box is made out of recycled materials, but it feels like the fake one may be as well. Well. Opening both of these boxes, the fake one is very similar to the real one, as they both slide out of the right side of the box and carry over the design seen on the front of the outer box. I will note that here is where the fake one becomes more easy to spot. The booklet falls out over because the plastic tray does not have a specific cutout for the booklet. The real booklet has a lot of detail whereas the fake booklet has little to no visible detailing. Essentially, it's a flat surface. The shape is supposed to be the perfume bottle. Additionally, the CD logo on the back is very similar. However, the pictures in the fake booklet look dull and the spacing of words is closer compared to the real booklet, which revealed the fragrance. But I wanted to examine the inner plastic. In the video, it looks like the colors have been switched, but that's not exactly true. The plastic is still the same shade as the outer box covering. The biggest things to know are the real box has a cutout for the booklet and the Miss Dior is engraved in the plastic. This aligns where Miss Dior is placed on the glass bottle. On the back of the plastic tray, the biggest giveaway here is the outline of the bottle. The Miss Dior title should be visibly engraved into the backing, showcasing the attention to detail Dior has given this packaging. Right away, the fake one is noticeably obvious. The ribbon is strangely long and the liquid reflects the orangish hues similar to the box. Otherwise, the bottle and lids appear identical. However, the fake one has an injection runner. This means where the plastic is cut from the mold once 
hardened, where the CD logo on the real one is clear. The other thing to point out when looking at the back of the fragrances are the backing on the clip of the CD logo on the bow. The real one is a solid piece, whereas the fake one shows part of the bow. I wanted to point out the bottle of the real one is about the same size, but the thickness of the glass is extremely thin. The batch code can be found at the base of the bottle, and the fake one has everything that the real one does, but it's hard to see what has been painted toward the base of the fake one. Comparing the atomizers, on the real one, it is a sturdy, clean finish, whereas the fake one, it's just a cheap plastic cap with the CD logo engraved on the top. The real one has a small atomizer, where the fake one has a generic cap. Always examine the bottle lettering, because to me, the biggest differences of the fake Mistyor logo is that the accursive S's and R's don't exactly match up. That concludes this comparison. Hopefully this helps when encountering a fake Miss Dior Rose Essence perfume or a fake Dior product in general. If the purchase is not from a reputable seller, I would avoid the transaction altogether because fake Dior products are a waste of money and could be harmful as many fakes are made out of urine, non-oxical, and sometimes contain heavy metal residue that could lead to health defects down the road. Thank you so much again for watching today's video. If you like this comparison and want more like this in the future, please let me know by commenting. I can't wait to see you in the next video.